Washington, D.C. Capitals followers and Capitals observers know that these Eastern Conference Finals are about much more than two teams that can't win at home or can't lose on the road. When Game 5 starts in Tampa on Saturday night, the Lightning will merely be facing the Capitals. The Capitals will be facing the Lightning and the Ghosts. They showed up again Thursday night at Capital One Arena, and as exhausting as the topic is in Washington, they just can't be ignored or avoided. The Capitals led the series 2-0 as they came back home, but now they're tied, and every blown series lead in franchise history is drifting back into view. The 4-2 loss to the Lightning left the home fans booing, at least, those who weren't too full of dread to boo, or too exasperated to stay until the final horn. More, watch NHL playoff action on Fubo TV, 7-day free trial, the never-ending narrative with the Capitals and their postseason albatross cheats the lightning out of credit for their rally in the last two games, their resilience and toughness in Game 4, and the brilliance of goalie Andre Vasilevsky, again, and of every player who did the little and big things to silence the Capitals and their crowd at the right times. Yet there's no way the Capitals can look at Game 4 other than through the chances they let get away, in the game and in the series. Yeah, of course it's a missed opportunity, Alex Ovechkin said of losing Games 3 and 4 on home ice. But it is what it is, there's nothing we can do. We're not going to look back, we're just going to look forward. In a way, looking back wasn't totally horrifying for them, Coach Barry Trotz declared, justifiably, we've played well in three of four games, we played one stinker, referring to game three. But all the parts never made up the whole. They went zero for the night, actually zero for four, on the power play, including three straight in a span of just over six minutes late in the first period. They jumped ahead just 4.28 into the game, but let Tampa Bay tie it just 70 seconds later, while the crowd was still on its feet, then gave up the lead on yet another lightning power play goal, by Steven Stamkos. Golden Standard How Vegas became the most successful expansion team in sports history They outshot the Lightning 38-20, keeping them without a shot for nearly half the second period, but Vasilevsky stopped 36 of those 38. Most painfully, they came up with their most clutch penalty kill of the series midway through the final period, and then, six seconds later, surrendered the game-winner to Alex Killer and sucking the air right out of the building. Braden Holtby was often brilliant in Washington's net when called upon, but as much as he tried to deflect blame, he was done in at the wrong times by sloppiness by his teammates. Nicholas Backstrom played for the first time in the series and played well, particularly on face-offs, but his return wasn't enough to get the caps over the top. Thursday had the elements of a win that would give the Capitals control of the series and bring them closer to exorcising the demons, but not the result. The loss brought back the angst that seemed to have evaporated after the Caps beat the Penguins in a playoff series for the first time in 17 years, after they reached the conference finals for the first time in 20 years, and after they climbed out of an 0-2 hole on their home ice to survive the first round against the Blue Jackets. But they truly don't have time to think about anything other than Saturday night with the position they put themselves in. It's frustrating, because with a little bit of puck luck tonight, it would be different, Holtby said. But there are still things we can push forward on. We feel comfortable going out on the road, they have no choice anymore. Their 2-0 lead is history, and history tends not to be kind to this franchise.